in this video, we're going to talk about moles. This is it. You get what I'm saying? This is it. So what is a mole? Here, we're not describing an animal. It is also not an abbreviation for molecule. It's a big no. Oh, excuse me? A mole is a measurement used to represent a number of things. For example, a dozen. A dozen means you have 12 things or stuff. A dozen of donuts. So you have 12 donuts. So a mole is like that. Mm, very good. A mole is equal to 602 hexillion stuff. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> What damn? So just to give you a visualization about how huge that number is, you need to put 21 zeros in front of 602. Okay, so that is a mole. So let's go back to the donut. A dozen donut, you have 12 donuts. A mole of donut, you will have 602 hexillion donuts. So this 602 hexillion is what we call Avogadro's number. You can't really write this long when solving, right? It would be tedious and time-consuming. So what we do is we write it in scientific notation. So if we use the scientific notation, we will have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power. Okay, so why 23? Because if you count the digits from the last zero until the number before 6, you will have 23 okay so to give you an image on how huge that number is let's have the green p analogy 10 raised to 0 is equal to 1 so you will have 1 p 10 raised to 1 is equal to 10 so you will have a spoonful of peas 10 raised to 2 is equal to 100 so we can describe it as a plateful of peas so 10 10 raised to 3 you'll have a thousand still small 10 raised to 4 you will have 10,000, so that's 10 bags. 10 raised to 5, mm, a fridge full of green peas. 10 raised to 6 is a million, so it is equal to an average bedroom. 10 raised to the 20th power is equal to the land mass of China, covered with 1 meter deep peas. But remember, it's 23. So 10 raised to the 23rd power is equal to the entire surface of the Earth, plus 99 planets just like Earth. So imagine how huge 602 hexillion is. So that means so a mole of green pea is equal to 602 Earth-sized planets, right? However, a mole of atom, even though it is equal to 602 hexillion atoms, it is not that huge. Okay, for example, one mole of carbon is equal to 602 hexillion carbon atoms. A mole of carbon or 602 hexillion carbon atoms can fit into a small petri dish. I have here a figure that shows a mole of different elements. So we have zinc, carbon, magnesium, copper, sulfur, silicon, lead, and tin. So if you notice, there are numbers below the circles. So before we discuss that, let's recall again that a mole of zinc atoms is equal to 6.02 times 10 raised to the 23rd power. So that number weighs 65.4 grams. Since they are all equal, we can say that one mole of zinc atom is equal to 65.4 grams. So where did I get 65.4? So it came from the periodic table. So this is what we call the molar mass. The molar mass tells how much one mole weighs in a gram. Now don't be confused with molar mass and atomic mass. Atomic mass is the mass of an atom and is given in AMU, okay, so atomic mass unit. But here we're talking about a mole of zinc atom. So basically, the molar mass and atomic mass in this situation is the same. So how do we calculate the moles? Let's have, for example, 396.95 grams of zinc. So again, check the periodic table, get the molar mass. Then we divide the given with the molar mass. So 396.95 grams divided by 65.39 grams. This will give us 6.07 moles of zinc. Now, how do we get the number of atoms? Again, we have number of moles. Remember that 
1 mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power or the Avogadro's number. So what we need to do is to use the relationship between the two to get the number of atoms. This is done by using the dimensional analysis. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. Let's recall dimensional analysis. So we have 6.07 moles of zinc. Then add T or the T diagram. In the bottom right, put the units of the given. So we have, boom, one mole of zinc. In the upper right, put what is asked. So since we're looking for the number of atoms of zinc, we'll put 6.02 times 10 raised to the 23rd power atoms, then cancel the number of moles, we'll get 3.54 times 10 to the 24th power zinc atoms. So to give you a vision of how huge that number is, after 354, you will have 22 zeros. That's how huge the number is. So we will have more examples in the next videos.